Hello everyone, today we are going to learn about the installation of the Anaconda Navigator. In order to install the Anaconda Navigator, we need to go to the anaconda.com slash products slash distributions. So here we will get the option of the windows directly here in order if you want to download it for the windows, you need to click on here. So if you have the Mac, you need to click on here and if you have the Linux, you need to click on here. After downloading, this will show into your download section. Here in the download sections, this Anaconda Navigator is showed up. After this Anaconda Navigator will be showed up, you need to double click on this Anaconda Navigator and this will show you certain informations. The certain informations are such as, the firstly it is going to ask you that you need to install it or not. So I am saying that okay, I need to install it, I am clicking on next. Then I am saying that I need to click on and agree. Then I need to click in on just me again next and then it is going to ask me where I need to install the Anaconda Navigator. I don't need to do anything in this step so I am clicking on next. Okay, so it is telling me that Anaconda Navigator is already present there as in my machine the Anaconda Navigator is already present. So what I am going to do, I am going to show you the slides what it is going to show, show the upcoming things. Okay, these are the slides I was talking about. So, in this slide, or I can say that in this operation, as I have told you, you don't have to do anything. All you have to do is you need to click on the next. After that, it will ask you to install it or not. But before installing, if you can see here, there are two checkboxes. The blue checkbox is already tick marked, but you need to tick mark the above checkbox also. Okay, like this. You need to tick mark the above checkbox also. After clicking on the above checkbox, you need to click on the install. It will take around 15 to 20 minutes or sometimes half an hour also for install. After getting completely installed, it will show you this next option. After the next option, it is going to show you the finish option. Okay. So here you have completed the installation of Anaconda Navigator. We need to click on the search and we need to write Anaconda. Okay. So here the green Anaconda symbol uh, popped out so i need to enter and i need to start this application it will take around two three minutes to start this application okay let's wait and people who are having the low configuration laptops for them it will take more than two three minutes it will take for them it will take around 10 to 11 minutes so here we got it okay and now we need to click on the launch button Okay, because we are concerned about the Jupyter Notebook, so we need to click the launch button which is below the Jupyter Notebook. So let me click on it. So this will open my default browser as the Jupyter Notebook is a web application. So here my default browser is Chrome, so Jupyter Notebook opened in my Chrome browser. Now in order to write the Python code into the Jupyter Notebook, I need to click on the new. I need to click on the Python 3. And another window will start. In the another window, we are going to write our code. Suppose I will write here it print hello world. Print hello world. Let me run this. It is going to give me the output as hello world. How I run it? I just pressed shift plus enter together. Okay. Or you can run the code with this run button also. You can change the name of the file to any file. Suppose I will write it as first session because uh, this, uh, because so that next time when I need to search about this file, it's easy for me. So this Python file is named as first session now. So guys, we learned about how we install the Anaconda Navigator. We learned about how we open the Anaconda Navigator. We uh, learned about how we start a Jupyter Notebook and we learned about how we start a Jupyter file and how we run the code in it. Okay, thank you.